encouraging word that I prepared for you. Um, it is very, very encouraging. That's why I chose it. So remember, no matter what happens, believe in yourself and follow your dreams. <laughs> But I love you very, very much, and I miss you every day. Mm, yeah, I don't like it, but it's okay because I know you're doing great things. Um, there's a scripture. It's Alma 31:5, and it's kind of long, so I'll paraphrase it. But part of it says, "And now, as the preaching of the word had a great tendency to lead the people to do that which was just, yea, it had a more powerful effect upon the minds of the people than the sword or anything else which had happened to them." And so I want you to, I want you to know you're doing a very powerful work. You have a very powerful message with you, and you're doing great. No matter what happens, you can do this, and we all love you so much. And I will echo that, that we love you, George, and we miss you, but we are so proud of you and so excited to hear more about your adventures and the people you teach and all that you're learning and all the ways that you're growing. Uh, one of my favorite scriptures is actually from the book of Isaiah, where we are told that those who wait upon the Lord will mount up on wings as eagles, and that will have strength and the ability to, to do his work. We won't be weary anymore. And so that's my wish for you, that as you wait upon the Lord and do his work, that he will strengthen you and lift you and you will be able to do things that physically don't seem possible. George, we can't believe that it's almost been a month since you've been in the MTC. It's passed by so quickly and we're so excited for how much you've grown there, how much you've embraced um, the language and having a companion and dealing with even the human stuff that happens, you know, even at the MTC. <clears throat> but we're so, so pleased and so proud and so excited for you and the adventure that awaits when you go down south. And the scripture that I wanted to share with you is from, <clears throat> from the Book of Mormon also. It's where Nephi said, and my father dwelt in a sweltering, humid, bug infested jungle and how you're going to do that too. And we're just really excited. <laughs> well, maybe she'll be in a tent or a nice little apartment, but it'll still be in a sweltering jungle with bugs. <laughs> we're just so excited for you to have that adventure and that what a beautiful opportunity to go and share the gospel with those people in that in that beautiful part of the world. While it still snows here and yes. we slide off the yes. road and freeze. Yes. Okay. We love you. I love you, George. Love.
bien abrigadas con sueños nuevos ya solo falta hacer un necesario agenda que sigue cambiando tomando sus paredes ahí viene nuestro milagro 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 hay mariposas
Love you, sweetheart. Love you. Lean over here, Brian. Bye, Brian. Bye, Brian. Love you. Keep your card you. <laughs> Have her home by 10. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a husband. I wish I had a husband. <laughs>
to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. Not with this song, actually, but I um, just want to say guys how much I love you and miss you all very dearly. Um, this time of year, we think a lot about Jesus, no, and everything that he he did and does for us. I, I like to remember what he has made possible for all of us as well, and that is being families forever, suckers. How do you feel about that? I love it. It's my favorite blessing that we, that we have, so I am super happy out here sharing that message with people who well, maybe don't know that but uh this time of year especially i, I miss my people a lot so just wanted to sing you all a little song that kind of uh capture that feeling so enjoy <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Feliz Amo un Buen. Not as much as Jesus. <laughs> 